Hello and welcome to a DEXIS OP2D panoramic and bite wing patient positioning demonstration. Prior to positioning a patient and image acquisition, select an imaging program using the main DEXIS OP2D unit touch control panel. The top row of the control panel contains four program selection options, P1 standard pan, P2 pediatric pan, P3 TMJ, P4 bite wing. The second row contains the patient size selection options, child, juvenile, adult, and large adult. Manual mode, when selected, allows for the manual adjustment of both the KV and MA. The T test button is for operating the unit without x-rays. The test mode is used to demonstrate unit rotation and to check rotational clearance for patients with broad shoulders. The gear icon is for service. This area contains the unit exposure values that vary with program selection. Directly below this is the dose area product of the selected program. The unit status indicator is located at the bottom left corner of the unit control panel. With the standard pan program selected, begin positioning the patient. Start by installing the bite stick and bite stick cover. Place a lead or lead equivalent apron over the patient's shoulders in accordance with local radiation safety guidelines. Stand the patient in front of the unit and adjust the height of the unit's chin rest relative to the height of the patient's chin. To adjust the height of the unit, use the positioning panel. Click up or down as needed. The patient positioning lights will turn on during unit height adjustment. Have the patient step forward so their chin is close to the patient chin rest. Position the chin rest slightly higher than the patient's chin. Help the patient bite the bite stick by lifting it up. Have the patient bite into the groove on the bite stick. Guide the patient's hands to the patient support handles. Have them grasp low on the handles. This will help ensure the patient's shoulders do not interfere with the rotation of the overhead during image acquisition. Adjust the horizontal positioning light by adjusting the knob next to the mirror. Adjust it so that the horizontal light is at the top of the tragus and the inferior border of the orbit. Once the horizontal light is aligned with the top of the tragus, if the light falls under the ala of the nose, you must lower the unit using the unit height adjustment button. Warn the patient prior to moving the unit so you do not startle the patient. Continue adjusting the height of the unit until the horizontal light is aligned with both the top of the tragus and the inferior border of the orbit. Adjust the mid-sagittal line using the vertical positioning laser. Stand behind the patient. Using the mirror, ensure the vertical positioning light is in the philtrum, V of the lip, to ensure a central positioned image. Adjust the patient head support. Start by pressing the button to drop the nasion support so that it rests on the patient's forehead. Close the temple support using the knob, ensuring it is nice and tight. Adjust the cuspid light using the adjustment knob so the light falls on the center of the patient's cuspid. Have the patient adjust the position of their body by taking a step forward while keeping their forehead and chin down. Ask the patient to swallow, keep their tongue on the roof of their mouth, and their lips together. It's now time to acquire the image. The operator should maintain a minimum safe distance of six feet during the exposure while maintaining visual contact with the patient. Once the image is acquired, remove the patient from the OP2D by opening the temple supports, retracting the nasion support, and guiding the patient out of the unit. To acquire a bite wing image, use the DEXIS OP2D unit control panel, select the bite wing program, P4, and the corresponding patient size. Start by installing the bite stick and the bite stick cover. Place a lead apron over the patient's shoulders in accordance with local radiation safety guidelines. Stand the patient in front of the unit and adjust the height of the unit relative to the height of the patient. To adjust the height of the unit, use the positioning panel. Click up or down as needed. The patient positioning lights will turn on during unit height adjustment. Have the patient step forward so their chin is close to the patient chin rest. Position the chin rest so that it is level with the patient's chin. Adjust the chin rest using the adjustment knob so that it's set to the bite wing BW position. Help the patient bite the bite stick by lifting it up. Ask the patient to bite into the groove on the bite stick. Guide the patient's hands to the patient support handles. Have them grasp low on the handles. This will help ensure the patient's shoulders do not interfere with the rotation of the overhead during image acquisition. Adjust the height of the patient's chin using the height adjustment buttons so that their occlusal plane is parallel with the floor. Check that the occlusal plane is level by adjusting the horizontal positioning light so that it is just above the patient's lip. Ask the patient to swallow, keep their tongue on the roof of their mouth, and their lips together. 
Acquire the bite wing image. The operator should maintain a minimum safe distance of six feet during the exposure while maintaining visual contact with the patient. With the image acquired, guide the patient out of the OP2D. Thank you for watching. For more Dexis product information, please visit dexis.com.